What's going on guys, it's Brett Pro Angel. We just got the Heroes and Games in Columbus. We're gonna be playing Drytron. We gotta play it one time just in case Ben 10 goes to one. So without further ado, wish me luck. And the madness begins. So round one of the tournament, I got paired up against none other than Blue Eyes White Dragon. I was able to steal two of his blue eyes and go into Boral Sword for the win, not to mention gaining an exponential amount of life points. After round one, I was able to watch my, my brother Mario in his first round. He was also on Drytron. It was very nice seeing somebody else's plays. And then round two, I got paired up against a Shadal Invoke Dogma. I quickly lost game one. Game two, I opened up Lancia and Evenly Match, which won me the game. Game three, it was just such a grind game. And I, I'm pretty sure it lasted at least a good 10 to 15 turns. I had a Lancia in defense mode on my field for almost the whole game and his Winda just couldn't out it but I couldn't special summon but somehow out of my own saving grace I was able to take the game and after round two I went to go watch my friend Mario again because he was also on Drytron and I just you know watching somebody else you can really learn a lot and he got paired up against a Zodiac Eldritch deck, which can be a tough matchup for Drytron, but in this case, Zeus saved the day. It was very nice to see how somebody else has the plays, and somehow we were able to win. What's going on guys, Brett Pro Angel. Uh, it's the last tournament of the current format. So the ban list is gonna be dropping in like a week or so. And we decided to just go to Heroes and Games for locals in Columbus. We drove an hour. Uh, we were on Drytron today. We actually did really well again. Uh, shout out to my bro Mario, who also played Drytron with me, hey. and my boy Christian. Um, yeah, I just love the deck. I'm glad we all decided to play it. But yeah, so without further ado, we're just gonna go ahead and dive into some uh, OTS packs. Hopefully we can pull some good. As a rolling. Uh, okay, that's cool. <clears throat> Love these OTS packs, by the way. A Borbo. That's a cool super. I actually didn't even know that was in here. Another Borbo. There's my zoo deck. That's cool. <laughs> Come on, Alti. Uh, proxy Magician. That's cool. All right, heart of the cards. If you are with me, you will give me a Halley Fibrax. Nah, not good vision will work too. But yeah. So I just want to say thank you all for watching. We're just gonna go ahead and head home. It's Mario Pro Jester. No, this guy right here is my bro, and he actually played Drytron with me, and he almost won. Like I'm so he proud did. of this man. He did. How did yeah. you like the deck? Um, I liked it a lot, honestly. Um, my game one, it, the deck kind of showed me something for the first time. So my first round opponent, I played against uh, Zodiac Eldritch, and he went first, I lost Dyro. Um, he set two pass. I played through uh, two Skullmeisters and an Ash Blossom to Boral Sword OTK him. Oh my god. And I'm goodness. like, that is actually- What about the stupid. next round? Explain that one. So the next round, I played against uh, Tri Brigades, uh, that deck is kind of silly. Uh, it was one of the local guys here named Sean, which is absolute, like, he's a very good player. Um, that one we were able to win in game three. So game one, he kind of just uh, did bird lock, and I'm like, oh, yep, that's a wrap. Good game. Um, game two, um, I seussed him, and then from there I went. And then game three is just we went in a back and forth battle, but I was able to out-resource him just because, again, Drytron is. All right, um, round three, that was the one I was thinking of. 
explain what happened in that. So round three, um, one of the things, even though I play meta decks, honestly, I always like to sauce it up, especially at locals. So I was playing in, against Infernova Knight, um, played through Hold Negate board um, twice over, um, played through Boral Savage with Zeus. I got to the point where I was top decking with two cards in play, and he had double gear free against me. <laughs> then I ended up top decking my Spice Lava Golem, <laughs> tributed both of the gear freeds, and then proceeded to drop Access Cold Talker with Boral Sword Dragon and smack. Oh my god. And I'm well, like, this deck is actually kind of stupid. What about so, the last round? That was funny. Last round I played against Eddie. Um, shout out to him. Um, Eddie's actually a really good player. Me and him go way back. Um, you know, game one, I went Vanity's Ruler because he uh, tried to hit me with the Saucy one. Ash, I'm like, okay. I went into the Delta play. Um, Delta actually just had an extender and then went to Vanity's Ruler scoop. Game two, he opened up Triple Skull Meister in Ash Blossom against <laughs> me, and I'm like, well, I guess we don't play. Then uh, game, game three, at appearance, I thought neither one of us played because I opened up, uh, I think, three or four hand traps in a Cosmic Cyclone. Didn't see I'm any like, Drytrons. I remember nope, seeing that. Didn't see any Drytrons, but you know what? Can't be mad. Um, we almost went undefeated. We went up undefeated up until that point, so I'll take a third place. For I got your your last uh, game three hand on camera, so everybody will get to see that. But gotcha. yeah, you did really well today, and I'm super proud of you. Excellent, excellent. Thanks for having me, bro. What's going on guys? It's Brett Pro Angel. We are officially back from Heroes and Games in Columbus. We, it is the last local before the new ban list. So we had to play our deck, Drytron, at least one last time, just in case Ben 10 ever gets hit. So without further ado, uh, we actually just uh, got first place with Drytron again. So uh, we've been doing really well with this deck and I'm just gonna go ahead and display the deck list that actually won tonight. So, of course, you got the three Benton. And then, of course, you know, we run one Alti Boy and one Natasha. And with the Drytrons, I run, uh, of course, you need three Alpha Thuban. Next, we have our three Zeta. This card is so important because if you don't have access to the ritual spells, Zeta just gets you there. Then, after that, um, I actually run uh, Gamma. Gamma and Delta. And then, of course, we got our fairies. We got three Herald of the Orange Lights. And then, of course, we have uh, Eva and Cyber Petite. So I upped Manju to two. And then, of course, a lot of people don't like it, but I still run Ruler. I do run two Lancia. I, I, I th just think two Lancia is important. And then, of course, we got the Brick Dawn Knight. And then we got my other hand traps. I run um, two Droll and two Ash. These are the only other hand traps that I main board. So in combination with uh, two Lancias, it's a pretty good balance of hand traps. And then we're moving on to the spell cards. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. We got, you know, the three Novas. Next, we have three Cyber Emergencies. And then I do run uh, two Fafnir. And then, of course, you know, the one Medionis. Um, if Benton ever goes to one, I might consider running two of these. Um, it just depends. It really all depends on how the meta shapes up. And, of course, we run two Pot of Prosperity. This is the chase card that I've been chasing ever since Blazing Vortex got released. Um, I opened so many packs on the channel just to not pull this card, but it's okay because we just went ahead and bought them. We got Link Rebo, Relinquish Anima. It's pretty standard for the combo. Then of course we got IP and Herald the Mirage Light. All right, and then we have a Nightmare Package. We run, uh, you know, Cerberus, Phoenix, and Unicorn. The Cerberus actually came up today. It, it really did. Like, I was playing against an Eldritch player, and I was able to Cerberus away as Conquistador, and then Link Climb into Boral Sword for the win. This allows you to Link Climb into the boy, access code, and or Boral Sword. 
Um, I mean, it doesn't really enable Boral Sword as much as Access Code, but um, Access Code won me like a, a few, more than a few games. These two cards, I usually ended the games, most of my games today, with these two cards. So we have um, Fucho and Nightingale. So we got Downard first, and then we got two Zeus. A lot of people don't agree with two Zeus, and I don't think running two Zeus makes you a bad deck builder. Um, I say I see a line of play with Fucho. Um, Fucho cannot be destroyed by battle, so it, you could just Fucho into something and then bring out Zeus, and there you go. Like you know, that's one Zeus. Or you know, you could just go into Nightingale into Zeus and then Downard. Either way, like I, I'm a firm believer in two Zeus. Like most people don't like it, but I say it wins games. Onto the side deck. This is where all the spice is. So pay close attention. <laughs> Alright, so obviously we run three nibs. This just stops combo decks. If we play against prank kids, we drop nib. If we play against um, Tri Brigade and they go past four summons, we drop nib. If we play against Virtual World, this comes up every time. And then we got my girlfriend, uh, Denko Seka. <laughs> I actually didn't drop her one time today and I was hoping that I did. But it's okay because we was able to win anyway. But still, like, Danko Seka just stops everything. If you play against Eldridge, they cry. Then, of course, you know, the one Lancia in the sideboard because we, uh, we main board like uh, two of them already. Then we have uh, two droplets and then also one called by the grave. Now, you might be asking, why would you side called by the grave? Why don't you put it in the main? And I say, with Drytron, I want to open up as consistent as possible. It does not help me if I only open up one Drytron and like a Natasha or something and Called by the Grave. That just does not help me. I wish that Called by the Grave was another monster or extender. So I only side Called by the Grave in if I know I'm going first. And then I run one Duster, one Cosmic. <laughs> a buddy of mine was trying to rip me hardcore for running one cosmic but i'm like dude i know this deck though it's like cosmic really comes up if you draw two cosmic it sucks terribly but like you can't run two duster and if you play against any kind of back row deck where cosmic or duster would hurt them like if they play schism you could just chain cosmic and banish the schism or if they play sanguine you banish the sanguine or if they play conquistador you just banish it like one cosmic is good and i think three is terrible i think two is decent but one is my magic number shout out to that same buddy that was ripping me about cosmic he told me to run these because i let him borrow my lightning storms evenly matched dude people are not playing this right now and i don't get why but last and not least uh, we have this for the trap decks we run re one red reboot um this card is so good because um it sucks that they get a trap but if this card resolves, you're usually winning the game. I just want to thank you all for tuning in to this deck profile. Um, we did really good at Locals. Shout out to my brother Mario. He's my best friend and he also played Drytron with me. But all in all, I had a lot of fun and I know for sure my buddy Mario did as well. So yeah, I just want to thank you all for watching. And if you're watching... If you've been in tune with the channel, then you know that we have been on Drytron and a progression. We've been, that we've been slowly critiquing the deck, trying to make it better, and I think that we've been doing a highly successful job. Coming up in episode 7, the ban list should be dropped and we're going to be doing a Drytron analysis. We have to figure out what where the deck is headed and how we can position it after the ban list. So yeah, we're going to be talking heavily about the ban list in the next episode. So just make sure you drop a subscribe so you can see what's coming next.